Today, I'll show you how to do your Zelcor crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another integration video. Today, we're talking about Zelcor and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about this wallet, then I'll jump into the integration, and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. As always, a bunch of resources down below if you need help. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So Zelcor was founded in 2018 and they're based out of the US. Their mission statement is really straightforward. One wallet for all, your gateway to all Web3 applications, manage and trade all major exchanges and protocols. So they're trying to be the all-in-one wallet. Let me know what you're using this wallet for. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the integration now. First step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, create one. It's completely free to sign up. Go into the wallets area and click on add wallet. We're gonna find a Zelcor if I can uh, type it correctly, which it seems like I can't. Okay, there it is. So Zelcor, and then we have two different options. Uh, unfortunately, they do not have an easy route to a CSV file. So if you're looking to import from file, you can try reaching out to their support team and maybe they will give you one, or you can alternatively try to create your own. But for now, we're gonna use the setup auto sync because that is without a doubt the easiest option. So let's click on that. And we have a few different options depending you know, which cryptocurrencies you're dealing with. So let's start off with the Ethereum. So the first thing that you would do is you would click on uh, connect blockchains, you would click on Ethereum, and then here I'll show you where to find the public key in the app. Okay, so we are in the app. I have Ethereum showing on my homepage. We're gonna click on that and then we're gonna click on receive. And then we're gonna click on whichever option here, doesn't matter, we're gonna own payments, click continue, and there is your address. Simply find a way to copy and paste that into Coinly. Okay, so that was Ethereum and Ethereum-based tokens. Let's talk about Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Dash, Litecoin. Find the XPUB, YPUB, or ZBUB keys. So um, this you know, app actually doesn't have those. We do have the addresses though associated with, with these. So I'll show you how to do it for Bitcoin and then you can do it for any of the other ones mentioned here above. So we're gonna click on connect blockchain and then we're gonna click on Bitcoin and then we're gonna go into the app and this time we're gonna click on Bitcoin and then we're gonna click on receive and it doesn't matter which one here is selected. You're gonna copy this link. As you can see, it's the same, the link address and the wallet address. Find a way to send it to yourself and paste it into Coinly. Just keep in mind, this won't usually sync all transactions. Users will either need to locate a list of all their BTC addresses used or generate their XPUB key using the generation method, which I've made videos on, so you can check those out in the top right corner and in the description. Users can, of course, also add transactions manually or create a custom CSV file. Okay, so that's how you import your Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, and similar um, assets like that. So for all their coins, click on the Connect Blockchain button below find that coin that you're looking for, enter the public address, save. Uh, if you can't find your coin, it means it can't auto sync transactions for it yet. So let us know which coin this is and we'll work towards adding that. Um, but yeah, that's how you add your uh, transactions. Once you're ready, you can head over into the transactions area. So once your transactions are loaded into Coinly, go into the transactions area and kind of look underneath the hood, making sure everything is sitting correctly with you. If you have any type of staking, make sure that's tagged correctly, send to pool, send from pool. And then once you're happy with that, go into your uh, tax reports area for one final summary of your crypto activity throughout the year. And once you're happy with everything you see there, scroll on down and select a tax report according to your needs. We have plenty of different options. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant, and they will combine that with your other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their account seat firm here with us. Lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources will be left down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax uh, related resources. We have a forum section if you like to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. We have a contact section if all else fails, send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.